Good day guys. Today I'm going to do one of my favourite combinations. Um, I did a small one the other day and just reminded me how much I love this combination. Very simple but very effective on your canvas. Um, and of course I'm going to be using the Montmartre Studio Acrylics with the um, okay, the clear PVA. So I mix that at 70% glue, 30% water, uh, warm water. I have my pouring medium recipe below this video and I have um, all what I, the information and how I mix my paints is there. I also have links to beginners videos and also links to online suppliers. So can't really go wrong. But just, oh, just pop in on it apron because I have got another shirt on that I haven't actually got paint on so trying to trying to keep a few of my clothes paint free which is good um, all right so the colors I'm going to be using are the gorgeous brilliant red it's brilliant red so I've just got one little bit left in this cup so a brilliant red and see as I go along but yeah just a very simple one but effective when if you're a beginner or even advanced it's just a nice effective um, outcome doing these very simple colors so okay it's the brilliant red that one's a little bit feels a little bit thick but we'll uh, see how we go can get away with your paint being a fair bit thinner when you're doing um, swipes and of course the swipes always bring out um, all sorts of things in your work they never look the same even though it's a similar process so this was the dark red I think I'll just have to check what it's so then one of the new reds I think oh it's the magenta okay magenta gosh so it does look very much like a real cool red the real dark red so I have a little bit left of this so I'll pop that in there but yeah you can do the same style but you will never get two to look the same so that's what's brilliant about this art form that there never will be two people that own the same piece when you sell them unless you have prints made of them but then you can still to be exclusive you could still make um, prints that are um, numbered that you know you only have so many prints and now a fly appears that's <laughs> typical this is the uh, yellow in the Montmartre the real oh, I'm just trying to look for names now it's, it's called medium yellow, medium yellow. You can get the Montmartre paints in Australia from our online supplier, the link below, but I also have put a link for US stockists and Canada, and I am told that the UK and Europe are getting these paints from Amazon. So that is it. That is the only three colours, uh, I use three, yeah. Oh, I will put a little bit of white in, so I've just told you before, I save all these bottles from the glue, I save them because they're great bottles, they're really sturdy and they have a really good squirty thing, so they're great for, you know, if you want to squirt paint on. Or, or even just storing the paint that you've made up they're good so keep all your bottles reuse we all try and think of the environment whenever we can so you just got to try your best and that's all we do is just try our best okay how simple was that hey so now it says the nice gentle process of just tilting just enjoy this do it nice and slowly just basically covering any holes up that you have on your canvas 
just a gentle tilt look at those colors how bright and vibrant I just that's it other artists are into all the mellow colors there's artists that are into um, warm cool I'm into them all I must admit but I do love the colorful artworks I just absolutely love colorful artworks always drawn to them colorful artworks above anything else so this is definitely colorful but it's only got those few colors on so it's quite easy for a beginner and it's quite effective for an advanced artist so and each one will never look the same you your own stamp on it your own little you find out these things to do off us artists are giving you direction but ultimately you add your own uh, stamp on each piece or work out um, your own style should I say okay just run your fingers underneath the edge of the canvas any drips and then just use that paint to just finger pop finger pop the very edges don't get caught up in trying to worry about tilting paint over edges um, you can end up losing all your paint run off uh, just trying to cover your edges so it's no big deal trying to do it this way there you go on fire I have been absolutely loving using my Swifty Swipe tool, so I have to get a few more made up. Um, I mean, it's very crudely made up. I just made it up from the old spatula with a nice piece of soft plastic. And this has got this nice bend on, which at first it started straight and it was equally as good. But with this bend on, I've just found that it's, it's great for swiping great for swiping you've got that bit more control so this is Jilly's Swifty Swipe right I am going to just try I have a little bit of the real uh, crimson or what should I call it black cherry aubergine claret whatever you'd like to call it I've just got a bit of this left so I'm going to put a very thin line down in the centre and you don't need very much at all to make a big impact so here we go just nice and relaxed you can hold this so you haven't got to hold no wet paper towel or just all nice and relaxed so easy so if there's a manufacturer out there that would like to manufacture these for the pouring community please have a talk to me <laughs> try and um, wipe off your swifty swipe in between swipes I should have added a cloth there or a piece of paper to wipe this on but I've got plastic plastic down that was from the canvas because my nice big um, silicone sheet is over there drying with more paint on it from another pour Probably a little bit of gold or silver in there would look nice too. That would be, um, you know, like I said, it's a very simple pour, but it is very effective when the colours come out. Okay, I'll give this a turn. I probably should have just, just try the uh, heat gun to see what kind of cells I bring up with that, but I will... Just be patient, wait a second or two, but they're lovely bright colours. They look nice on any wall. So what was that lovely saying I seen last week and it was from Banksy, the artist Banksy. Art is to to comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. I think that is such a wonderful analogy. Is it, is it analogy or, or saying whatever? Um, 
certainly how I believe art should be. Each to their own. So, you guys, if you have done this style or you've doing any of the styles that you want to give me and show me your art, because I know I have so many comments of people wanting to show me their art, well, we've started a Facebook page up for you guys especially to post your art so I can see. I ha We have moderators over there because I can't keep up with everybody and everything I've got going on in the art world at the moment but um, yet yeah, it's called Australian Acrylic Pouring with Jilly Cube so um, if you head over there and I've got a link at, below this video so you can head over there and join our group it's just another group it's a, a safe friendly place I don't want no drama because if there is you're you know we're not going to tolerate any drama we just want a safe place for people to communicate with each other and hopefully you know give each other tips and tricks of things that you've found um, as well as me myself so links are below alrighty really nice reflection swipe going on there lovely in its own way so here you go let's hope some magic happens got my lovely little uh, heat wand so let's do it let the magic happen this heats the paint a lot slower than using the butane torch and it doesn't burn the paint but it's whatever you choose as your weapon in your art is all, is all up to you guys obviously uh, I'm just using this so much now more well I don't use my butane torch of late because I find this is excellent simple very bright very cheerful look at that looky looky okay I'll give you a bit more closer those cells will continue to develop for a fair bit of time now and change you can either if you love it at this uh, part and you don't want to do any further with it it was a quick simple easy and effective uh, piece of art to do for yourself or sale or gift um, but if you want to go that little bit further and balloon embellish it then there's loads of different things you can do with the balloon you can roll the balloon you can slide the balloon or you can do balloon kisses so I might leave this to dry now off a little bit for, you know, between 10 and 20 minutes I'll come back and the paint self levels absorbs into the canvas and you can get far, um, well I believe, you know, sometimes some far more beautiful effects if you leave it for a little while. If you do want to go in and start balloon embellishing it while it's at this stage, um, that's, that's fine too, absolutely fine, whatever you choose to do. But I will leave it for a little while now and I will be back soon. Hi guys, back again. I did do some uh, balloon rolling on that. I wanted to show you guys that you could actually do some um, basically drawing with a balloon on your art piece. Uh, but I wanted to, I thought the camera was rolling and of course it wasn't when I did all I did was press the balloon in here and swirl it. Press the balloon in there and swirl. And then what I've been doing uh, in, to embellish your art, if you want to take it that bit further, is getting a bamboo skewer, uh, not the pointy end, the flatter end, and with some of the big chubby cells, to add some interest instead of cells, you can you're basically just drawing in your art so doing your squiggly lines and it sends them into a whole different look 
uh, keep probably keep wiping your little skewer off but yeah it's just another little step you can do to you know basically step up your process and, and try something different see how it takes them from cells almost looking like the filig is it a filigree pattern um sure somebody can tell me please let me know but yeah so it's sort of just doing these little swirls um and it just does some gorgeous patterns and it, it gets rid of you know if you don't want it looking so silly you can you're just basically drawing in your art those three those little bunch of cells there I love to do things when you see a little bunch of cells there this is the little balloon with the water in it pop it at the very end see it makes a flower so so some of you, you just spend quite a long time and it's quite therapeutic going along where you see a, a cluster of cells and at the very base of them just press that in look and then a flower appears so makes you look like you're a really good artist but you had help help from the cells cell mates help from the cells so it's just oh goodness sorry guys bit of music for you so there you go these gorgeous little embellishments oh my goodness that goes on and on there you go it's just another little idea to step it up if you're fed up of you know just doing cells and balloons and put dirty paws and, and the what you can just step it up and so this is basically you eat you don't have to be an a good pen artist or to actually create something look at these in there that you know that looks quite whimsical and just another little idea for you so you can work for ages in there just uh, I need to do something with this because it's gone a bit flat looking to me it needs a little bit more but yeah just trying to give you some ideas so thank you guys for subscribing and until next time bye for now